Leo Rachmawati asks, I'm just curious. One of my Korean friends told me that style is very mm. important there, especially for foreigners to be able to fit in. As for you two guys, is there anything that changed since you moved to Korea that you thought would never have happened if you lived in Canada? Hmm, mm. complicated question. So we're gonna break this down into just two parts. Did we change and is there pressure for foreigners to fit in style-wise? Korean women always make an effort to look good, even if they're going grocery shopping or they students. They always look really did up. And I know that some people will think this is a very negative part of Korean society, but just like an average normal person come to school wearing really beautiful, nice dresses or like ruffles and have their hair permed in little curls. I was wearing like my t-shirts and my jeans that I normally wear. And I thought I can't pull off that look. I can't do it, it doesn't fit. I'm, I'm so scared, should I buy this? I don't know, I don't know. I see my like, co-teachers cool wearing this, but I'm not sure if I can do it myself. <gasps> I remember that day that you came home from work, uh... the most traumatizing, scarring day of my life. There was like a co-teacher in my school, but she came to school and she had like her dress puffing out and like her hands like this, like her palms were open like this and she was walking around like this the whole day. I'm like, she's like really pulling off like a cute, dressy, girly, looky thing. She's cuter than me. She's doing cute things. I don't look cute enough for you. Ah. Anyways, that one dress inspired me to move on. The biggest change with you is that you actually wear makeup now while in Canada, you never wore makeup whatsoever. Yeah. You were pretty much like anti-makeup back when you were I really, I was actually. I was very anti-makeup. Hey Martin, you should do a makeup tutorial because you're like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. But I think that Korea changed me in the sense that I wanted to be more feminine. Like I wanted to embrace my my femininity, if you will, my Junsu sexuality. You're equating Junsu sexuality with femininity? No, I'm just saying that Junsu is very embracing of his run for it. Now, it wasn't because of some kind of negative pressure. Actually, Korea kind of has the opposite effect on foreigners. Mm -hmm. I've never been so complimented in my whole entire life. But after receiving so many compliments, I thought, yeah, I can do it. You can do this. I can wear something with cute bozies. People thought I was like a supermodel. And I'm just thinking mm -hmm. like, oh. You are a supermodel in my eyes. Oh, sunshine. in your eyes I am, but in Canada I am not. I think you're really pretty. Thanks, Ducky. It's a really sweet thing to say we should get married. Do you want to get married and have little fuzzy puppy babies? Let's do that. Let's get a cat too. Name it Ducky Memer's worth. Plan. Now, when it came to like crazy pink hair and like crazy accessories and stuff. <gasps> you're not wearing earrings in this video? Oh my god! What are you even doing? I don't know what happened. Cut -to, cut -to, cut -to. And that's more like it. <laughs> I always had earrings on this whole time. Yes. I felt so naked. Anyways, the weird accessories and the weird hair and stuff like that, it's always been my style, but it was much more of a rock, punky kind of gothy look, right? Mm -hmm. As a positive thing, not a negative thing, decided, you know what? If they can do it, I can do it. I'm gonna make an effort. Now, I feel like I can actually pull off dresses. I still don't pluck my eyebrows. That was an extra detail. But now, here I am with my makeup's on and my hair did. As for me, I actually was very inspired by Korean fashion because Korean guys dress very well so here. So good. And I thought to myself, yeah, I wanna wear this kind of stuff as well, but the problem is that I'm too big for this country to fit in anything stylish. And every time I try to put on a sweater, just never fit and I thought to myself, you know, what's, the, what's the point of going on? Sorry, Ducky, it's a why, hard time to talk about. Try? Although those sexy Korean belly shirt t-shirts look pretty good on Ooh, you. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, belly shirts. Going to English. It's so miracle. What, what a, a wonderful, wonderful change. change. That's an actual shirt that I own. Anyhow, now I'm fortunate enough that when I go back to Canada every once in a while, I go there with an empty suitcase and fill it up with as much fashionable clothing as possible. And then when your manly European armpits burn through those, you throw them to the garbage and buy new ones. Na -na -na. The power to stink through clothing. That's not really a power to be proud of. Why not? Now for the second part of the question, it's true that style is very important to Korean people, but we don't think that it's true that foreigners have to be stylish in order to fit in. I would disagree with that. Because no matter how stylish you are, no matter even how fluent you are in Korean, you will always be viewed as an outsider. Even if you're wearing the exact same outfit from another Korean girl or another Korean guy, you're always gonna have that foreigner status attached to you. And I would actually say that the foreign status gives you more freedom because like a right. lot of my Korean friends were like, I wish I could dye my hair red like Simon or mm. I wish I could have pink hair. And I'm like, why, why don't, don't you? Do you? It then? And they're like, well, Korean society won't course, accept me. I do it, but you could do it because you're a foreigner. Right, yeah. So if I dye my hair pink, I'm viewed as like funky and cool. I can wear a low cut shirt or mm -hmm. I can wear more exposed shoulders. I realize that I'm not showing lots of chest hair in this one also. We can fix that. Hey, dun, 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 easy. Dun, dun, this dun, dun. is a PG audience. Is it? So to us, we think that the Korean pressure for Koreans to fit into Korean society. To be stylish is different than the mm -hmm. one for foreigners to fit in to be stylish. 
So that's it for this week's TLDR. If you have a question for next week's TLDR, leave your question in the comment section below. Or check out the questions already asked and you can thumb them up if you like them. And perhaps if it comes to our attention, we just might choose it. And don't forget to subscribe for more TLDRs. And answer your question if puppies feel pressure. They do feel pressure sometimes. They feel pressure to compete with me because I'm so sweet. Even K-pop idols feel pressure to copy Spudgy style. And looking at you, T.O.P.